different setup today, other transformer, CT in uh, transistor on the test cell. Only about 500 ampere at the moment. Let's see if we can melt this bloody thing. Nice sparklers, that looks good, I like this. It's still got too much voltage stop in this circuit, it's not ideal. I'll make a slow mo out of this. I like the smoke, it looks cool. Current pulse, 800 up here. Okay, Let's see what happens. 800 up here. A thousand more on this, it's about a thousand amps going through there. Voltage connection, TO3 transfer star. Connection. It's getting hot. Bob is still alright, yeah. Seven hundred fifty ampere. Heat created there. 700 ampere current drop system. Dropped a little bit as the resistance increases of the device. Obviously, the connection on the right hand side is more high resistance. A red hot TO3. A load on the meter is only a couple of ampere. Oh shit, the energizer. Okay, my still rolling. My transformer terminals are burning on the fiber. Shit, <coughs> not a good connection there. Let's have a look here. Still a little bit of heat there. Need to re-terminate that connector. Uh, yeah, not too good. We redo the connection that has been a bit hot at burn for the fiber there. That bolt probably got a bit hot. Yeah. Not to worry. We can fix that. Someone commented on my part one video of this. Oh, why don't you put it through the junction? Quite simply, uh, a 2N3055 is only 15 ampere. Put 15 ampere, you wouldn't see anything happen. It just goes open circuit. Uh, the left ones are for the f from the first experiments, and this is the one from the right. Last experiment. 
I'm not there. So we'll flip it over. One of these nuts has welded itself onto the casing. 